Welcome to another beautiful day here in Chile. Today is going to be an amazing day because, well, we're speaking in English. The first TV show in Chile to have English. Amazing! Today we're going to be playing games, telling stories, and eating delicious food. Also, we have a special guest who doesn't even need a first name. Salfate is going to be here with us today. Hi, Tocal. Well, you know, you have the, the same name as me, but only in English. John, my name is Juan. I'll see him. But here we are. <laughs> You speak English really, really well. Really? Yeah, okay. I think you're doing great. Well, I think my English right now it's a little bit rusty because, uh, like I told you, I didn't practice too much. You're a spiritual guy, right? Yeah. This is The Gringo Show on The Red. Chile is so unique because you have the mountains to the east, you have the oceans to the west, and Chile is so long that it feels like you're on an island. But what happens when you have somebody from another country moving to this island of Chile and you go through culture shock, you have different games that are played here, and you have to take risks. That's what we're going to be talking about today on The Gringo Show, and we're going to have a whole lot of fun. Something that you have to know before you come here to Chile is, well, you have to fill your brain with knowledge. A lot of times we think about packing our suitcase with a lot of stuff, but really, if you pack your brain with knowledge, they say knowledge is power, and it really is. I wish that I knew more Spanish before I came here to Chile, because Spanish is what everybody speaks here. If you went to the United States, you would have to know English. But, of course, we speak Spanish. And with the Spanish comes risks. So let's talk about some of those risks that I've taken before and I kind of regret. Taking risks is super, super important when you come to another country and really when you live your life. You have to take risks. And some of those risks are embarrassing. But that's a good thing because that means that you're taking risks. I remember when we had a big party and my wife went to bed a little early and I told my friends that she was caliente en la cama. Oh, oh man, what was I thinking? Seriously, she was just warm in bed. That's all, I promise. Probably the biggest culture shock that I faced when I moved to Chile was going to our first rental house. In the United States, a rental house would come fully furnished. It might not have a, a bed in it, but it would definitely have a refrigerator. It would have something to heat or cool off your rooms. But our house here in, in Linares, it did not come like that. There wasn't even a heater in our house. No refrigerator, and there was just a sink. That was crazy because I didn't know any Spanish or where to buy our things. Culture shock is real. Another thing that's really different for me and that will be very different for my three-year-old son are the sports that are played in the schools. <laughs> Typically for me, when I was growing up, I would be able to play a ton of different sports. In high school, I played American football, I played basketball, and I played golf. And a lot of people play baseball, a lot of play people play Volleyball, all sorts of different things are offered in the schools. But here in Chile, typically, you have to play soccer. So my son is going to have to play soccer. There are a couple other sports, but typically, soccer is it here in Chile. Maybe the best thing about moving to another country that you need to have is having a good attitude. You have to be able to take risks. You have to know that this culture is not your own culture and that that's okay. It's okay for people to live a different way. And that's what I love about Chile, is seeing the different ways that people live. And I, I love the marraqueta, I love the food, I love the cueca. I have so much fun with it. 
Hashtag Mas Fuertes con Wrangler. I want to thank our friends at Wrangler Chile for this tremendous style that I'm wearing today and that you can also find in the Costanera Center Mall, Marina de Viña del Mar Mall, Patio Rancagua Mall, Eastern Outlet of Temuco, Eastern Quilicura, Vivo Maipu, in our stores and on the website at www.wrangler.cl. Always choose Wrangler style and comfort. Learn more and all the news on Instagram at Wrangler Jeans Chile. While we wait to eat our oh, so good, delicious food for today, I want to tell you about some stories that you're not going to want to miss. Starting with airplanes. I love technology. And Virgin Atlantic, the big airplane company, they came out with a new airplane that can bring you from New York City to London, England in two hours. Two hours, a trip that normally lasts six, seven hours is now only taking two hours. How incredible is technology? Brad Pitt and George Clooney are just like these weird lovers that they just have problems. These guys have problems now for a bunch of different reasons. They're kind of like in The Simpsons. You have Milhouse and Bart Simpson together. They're like that. They always have problems. Recently, well, about two years ago, Brad Pitt gave up drinking. And I don't think Clooney really liked that very much, and they haven't talked very much since. Recently, Clooney went to a party by Brad Pitt and didn't talk to him. Now, apparently, they're not friends anymore. Oh, the life of celebrities. Lucy, who apparently many of us came from, is hitting the news right now because Lucy has been taking a different form in every single museum that she's displayed in. Well, not a scientist, but an artist took all of those images and made it into one look. So now, apparently, everybody came from a look just like me. You came from, it, it looks like me. Especially when you're a kid, your parents always say to you, finish your food because there are starving people in, and then they name a country, so that you eat all of your food. 2019, we wasted 631 tons of food. Just in India, they wasted almost 70, 70 tons of food. How is that possible for me? There's no way I'm going to waste any food. I can throw this into the air and catch it. I'm so good at not wasting food. <laughs> Today's star guest is somebody that all of you know. If I say his name, I don't even need to say his first name. Does he even have a first name? Our guest for today is Salfate. Hey. Thank you, Young. Thank you for being on the show. My tocan, you want to, you know, the, you have the, the same name as me, but only in English. John, my name is Juan. I think him, but here we are. <laughs> okay. I love it. Thank you for this invitation, my friend. And I never knew that you spoke in English until I came on a Si Somos and you greeted oh, me yeah. in English. And that was so nice of you. Yeah, actually, this is the third time we went. Right? Uh, we worked in two times on Nasi Somos. And now this is the third one. This is the best one. This is the best one, yeah. Okay. okay. <laughs> nada, nada, Even nada, harder nada. in yeah. Chile. Como? Even harder. Even harder, si. Sí. Yeah. Very, very difficult. We got a Vamos time. a jugar también. Y es muy entretenido. Y muy relajado. Es un espacio para hablar en inglés. He's a real nice guy. <laughs> es, es tremendamente entretenido. Es, eh, tiene un, un, un warm heart. Así que tiene un corazón así que muy, muy cariñoso. Wait. On the second season. <laughs> yeah. Claro. Okay. Absolutely. Let's go on. Okay. So, do you like uh, do you like sushi? Please, I have lunch. Yes. Go I like, for it. Do it. Do, Which do one you, do you want? Do you know this is isn't real Japanese food? This is an invasion from you got to be kidding. California. Should we throw it in the garbage? For real? Yeah. In, most people call this sushi, and sushi yeah. isn't this. This is only a roast between rice and stuff. And, but sushi really is a slice of fresh fish, fish, nothing else. But you know what else? Here's some fresh chicken. Okay, you know, uh, you call the English this chopstick, chopstick. right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah. let me tell you something. This is from Roland Bart, a philosopher. Mm, someday he said to all people in, in the Western world, you know, if you notice that when in Occidental world, when we eat, our instruments 
are like weapons. I mean knife, uh -huh. forks. But in Japanese, we use this is more gentle. Uh -huh. This only pinch and transport. Yep. The real name for this is not chopstick. It's bridge. Bridge? Oh, yeah, uh -huh. uh, that's hachi. It means bridge in English. That makes a lot more sense, though, because it is a bridge to your mouth. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's more gentle and funny. I love it. Okay, so you traveled all around the world. Yeah. What's your favorite country? Well, it happened this. Um, about... Yes, I think it was... One year before, the government of Japan... Mm -hmm. That's what I know everything about Japan. <laughs> invited me. It was the government of Japan? Yeah, the government of Japan invited me. Yeah, well, well you, you know why? It's because uh, they think that I'm some kind of promoter of the culture of Japan. Uh, I like the religion. I like martial arts. It's the only sport I practice. Um, I know something about food, uh, movies, of course. Kenya Mitsubishi, Akira Kurosawa, blah, blah, blah. Anime. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, it's of okay. Course. I'm yeah. an expert in anime. Yeah. Don't you know? You should be, because you go to Japan, you have to be. That's, you have to be, I have to be anime. Do, do you like some anime? I, I don't, but I'm, not, I'm not very big into Dragon Ball Z, for example? Yeah, of course. Yeah, everybody knows that. Okay. Yeah, everybody yeah. knows Goku. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay, then I went to Japan. In, um, before that, I think my favorite place was London or New York. But when I went to Japan, oh, Jesus. I, like, I, I, I don't want to go anywhere. <laughs> Never more. Only no Japan. More. So where did you learn your English from? Because a lot of people right now are watching and learning English, and uh -huh. it might be really hard for them to understand what in the world we're uh, talking about. But okay. what was your experience? No, I learned it on my own. I, I didn't study it. Uh, I'm only watch movies and you know uh, I don't practice my English talking uh, too much um, but I read it a lot in English and I try to watch movies and TV series without the subtitles I think that's where a lot of people get their English from and that's where I learn a lot of my Spanish before coming here to Chile now obviously if I go outside of my doors I speak in Spanish okay you have to and then it's, it's much difficult Spanish to you it was when I came here because I didn't know any Spanish whatsoever. Okay, uh, and that's the worst because if it is you don't know Spanish <laughs> and you came to Chile. Linares, Chile. Oh, okay, Linares. okay. Yeah. So get Nobody speaks. Another kind of Spanish. But because I don't know if someone here speaks in Spanish. Because it's another kind of Spanish. Uh, people who come from Spain they doesn't understand anything about what we're talking about. Uh, everything is weón. <laughs> For example. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> La wea, el well, no, nah, sí, po. Sí, sí, no. <laughs> so what's your favorite city here in Chile? I love, I'm, I'm thinking about that because of Valdivia. I love the beer in Valdivia. It's fun to travel there. I bet you like Linares. I mean, you want to say Linares. But see, no, I, I haven't been in Linares, uh. but um, um, it's difficult because I'm a, I'm a city guy, so yeah. I, I like Santiago. But if you make me choose between the north and the south, the South is magical. It, 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 it's so beautiful. You can make movies there. It, yep. It's like a perfect picture. Yep. Uh, the North, it has, he's charming, but I don't know, too much, too much desert for me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I, prefer, I prefer the forest. You speak English really, really well. Really? Yeah, okay. I think you're doing great. Well, I think my English right now, it's a little bit rusty because, uh, like I told you, I didn't practice it too much. Uh, I only read it, I just watch movies. But uh, I don't have anyone to talk to. Well, if you invite me over to your house, we'll have some Kuntzman, some Marraquetas, some okay. Super Ochos. We'll be done and we'll be... Mm -hmm. No problem. Yeah. Done. Okay. Consider it done. Uh, Besides that, my second son, Certo, my middle son, mm -hmm. he wants to go to study to Japan. But before he learned to speak Japanese, he had to learn English. English as imperfectly. In a natural way. So, you're welcome to my house and you can be, Absolutely. if you please, I see the teacher of my second son, please. Absolutely. And uh, that's the idea with this TV show is to give some English to people in the house who want to learn English. That's the that's whole idea. But I would love to come to your house. That'd be fun. Thank you. Drink some beer and have some super ochos. That'd be great. Real sushi. Real sushi. <laughs> Absolutely. Toro bayo. <laughs> you're a spiritual guy, right? Yeah. So yeah, tell yeah. me about your, your spirituality. What, what do you believe and mm -hmm. what's what? Because you've traveled all over and usually when you travel, you have an open mind to mm. things. Well, 
The people who knows me, um, they, they know I have a lot, a lot of interest in, in, in many issues. But in the last few years, um, my only goal has been the self-realization. What it means with that? I mean that um, I don't ask me anymore who I am, but what I am. Mm. When I make that, that question, uh, obviously, I wonder about God. Mm. What is my, my relation with God? Is God something apart from me? He created me. I'm some kind of prism mm -hmm. that reflects the lights of God. That is the kind of questions I ask in myself for these last five years. I have to say that is the main goal in my life right now. I love God too much. I would like to be a better person, a more spiritual person, more empathic. Uh, uh, I, it's a hard work because I have a personality that, that sometimes it may seem a little selfish, uh, too much uh, with ideas preconceived. But right now, and thank you for the uh, for the question, uh, I, I like to a, a realization, see, to my true self, I see, in connection with the spiritual life. And I think this is something that we are both actually pretty similar on, too. I'm actually studying right now uh, for my master's in theology. So I'm actually uh, very into into spirituality as well and yeah. learning about God. Okay, yeah. we're more similar than we think. Yeah, absolutely. We can have lots of conversations in English. Yeah. So, yeah, no, that's super interesting. And thanks for sharing, because I know that's a really deep thing when you talk about God. And Yeah, I know. It used to be like your own private idol. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. You're scared that, 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 to say anything about God. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it, the problem is that the culture where we live is more attracted to the Christianism, for example. But, but I try to study every religion I know. For example, in the India, the Advaita. Advaita, it translates like non-dual. Non-dual. The yeah. non-dual relation between God, the whole world, and me. Mm -hmm. Maybe this is like a whole dream, it, and it's only a dream. Actually, when we dream, let me put the example. For example, we're in the awakening world right now. We are awake. We are living. This is beer, for example, and I can taste it, I can drink it, mm -hmm. it's real beer for me. Okay, let's put the same example in a dream. I am dreaming right now, mm -hmm. and this is beer. I know that beer is liquid, it's some kind of water, and I can drink it. But in the dream, I use it in the same way when I'm awake, mm -hmm. but you can't say it's water. Yeah. So, it's everything in a dream. A building is not concrete. Uh, Lagoon is not water. Mm -hmm. All it's made of dream thoughts. Yeah. Yep. Maybe in the real life everything is made of the same material, and maybe everything's God. Interesting. I think, yeah. Uh, that's super interesting, the way you think, and I can see where all of your, your thoughts about uh, mm -hmm. outside life and things that you talk about on TV comes, because mm -hmm. you just, you have your mind so open and thinking about mm -hmm. things thank that are super interesting. Mm -hmm. We want to thank Hotel Plaza Nunoa for their hospitality. They have an excellent location, very comfortable rooms, and the friendliest service. Single, double, or triple rooms for your convenience. Please make your reservation at reservas at hotelplazanunoa.com or call plus 562-3210-9101. But right now, I want to play a game with you. Okay. All right. Okay, what are we going to play? All right. We're going to play a family favorite. This is uh, the game of the month, and it is called Act It Out. There's going to be a word that comes up, and then you have to act the word. Act the and word. I can't look at it. I'm going to put it right here, and uh, I have to guess you the word. You have to guess. Okay. Yeah? Go! And then, okay. Ah, uh, putting on cologne. Yes. Yeah? Put it on. Nice. Okay. All right. Uh. Sweeping, I see. Passing the broom. Okay, okay. Like clean the house. Clean, yeah, with what? Not a broom, broom? but a... No. Oh. Something else that you use to clean the floor with water. Oh, yeah, with a mop. Yeah. 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 Did you, well, I don't 
don't know what is that. Okay. <laughs> Salfate, thank you so much for being on the show with me. I had so much fun, and I feel like we're the same person. Yeah, uh, it was all my pleasure, and I have no problem if you want to invite me again. Absolutely. Only if you give me your shirt. <laughs> no, just, oh, just kidding. Uh, uh, okay, we got the camera, and this T-shirt is all yours. Okay. <laughs> okay. okay, thank no, you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. This has been another fun episode of The Gringo Show, and I hope that you had as much fun as me on The Gringo Show, having fun with delicious sushi. Bet I can't catch it in the mouth again? Oh, yeah. Nope. Oh, I can't do it. Ah. But we'll see you guys next week. Ciao.